Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to surface area and volumes, 10th grade, CBSE. A hollow cylinder has solid hemisphere inward at one end and the other end is flat circular plate. The height of water is 10 cm when flat circular surface is downward. Find the level of water when it is inverted upside down. Common diameter is 7 cm and the height of the cylinder is 20 cm. So we have been given a hollow cylinder which has solid hemisphere inward at one end and the other end is a closed with a flat circular plate. The height of the water is 10 cm. So let's put that. We will say height of water is 10 cm. Height of water is 10 cm. So let us say this is the height of water we have. So we have water here. The height of water is 10 cm. When the flat circular surface is downward. Now they are asking what is the height of the water when it is inverted upside down. So we don't know this height. We have to find out this height equal to how much. Now how to solve this problem? So what we will do first, we will try to find out what is the volume of water when the flat surface is down because that volume of water will be same water will be there in the second scenario also. So let's go ahead and first write down and try to find out what's the volume of water. Scenario 1, what is volume of water? Volume of water equal to pi into r square into h that is equal to pi into r square that is 7 by 2 whole square into h. We can make it as 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 whole 7 by 2 into h or we can just leave it like h we know is equal to 10. So we can keep it as 10 pi r square or we can just write it as 10 pi into 7 by 2 whole square. We know that this height is equal to 10 centimeter. So we know that this height equal to 10 centimeter. So I can leave it as 10 pi r square or I can do 22 by 7 here and simplify that. I leave it as 10 pi r square because it will be easy for simplification part. Okay, so volume of water is 10 pi r square cm cube. So let's write down that. That's equal to 10 pi r square cm cube. Now, when it is inverted upside down, what will be the volume of water? Water volume will remain the same but the height will change because there is inward hemisphere which will make the height to be more. So what is the logic we have to apply now? We have to write down. We know volume of water will remain the same but that is equal to volume of cylinder cylinder of height h minus volume of hemisphere minus volume of hemisphere. Now volume of water is 10 pi r square 10 pi r square equal to volume of cylinder of height h that is pi into r square into h minus volume of hemisphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Now you will see why I haven't cancelled, why I haven't substituted values for pi and r square because I can divide with pi r square. I will get 10 equal to h minus 2 by 3 or can I say h equal to 10 plus 2 by 3. 
2 by 3 times of radius is left out there that is 7 by 2. 2 2 will cancel so it will be 10 plus 7 by 3 which is equal to 12.33 centimeter. So once if we know the logic this problem is very easy to solve. So we have to understand what is actually the question. So let's have a recap of this. We have been given that there is a hollow cylinder one side it's flat closed with flat circular surface on the other side there is a inward hemisphere. Now when the flat circular surface is down the height is 10 cm. We have to find out what is the height when it is inverted upside down. We know that in both the scenarios the volume of water will remain the same and in the first scenario that is equal to volume of cylinder of height 10 cm. So we found out volume of water equal to 10 pi r square. Now when we invert it upside down what happens the height looks little bit more because the hemisphere will occupy some volume there. So to get the volume of water it will be nothing but volume of the cylinder minus volume of hemisphere. So that is equal to pi r square h minus 2 by 3 pi r cube. Now we know volume of water is 10 pi r square and volume of cylinder is pi r square h. Volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. All of them have same radius because common diameter is 7 centimeter. So we can take 10 pi r square out. Pi r square divided by we get 10 equal to h minus 2 by 3 into r. R, r equal to 7 by 2 substitute. We get, we get h equal to 10 plus 7 by 3 which is equal to 12.33 centimeter. So when when it is inverted upward down the height is 12.33 centimeter wherever whereas if it is flat circular surface down then the height is only 10 centimeter. So that's one interesting example asked by one of the students. So I just thought of sharing with you. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.